embedded controller lab uh, program seven segment display interface with cortex m3 controller and uh, its simulation using proteus so first what we will try to do is we will try to create a schematic in proteus and uh, for that we go to file new project and uh, here select the folder where you want to create your proteus project in my case i'll select this and uh, give the project name so this is uh, seven segment module so i'll just uh, address single seven segment module your lab uh, case it is you have six digit seven segment module mm, yeah that's all next uh, uh, create a schematic next uh, do not create pcb next no firmware project next so this uh, creates just a schematic that's uh, done with now we will uh, pick the components required so first we will pick the microcontroller so go to uh, this uh, devices pick devices type lpc 2138 and uh, pick your arm controller then place it here and if you want to increase the, the layout size you can do it by uh, moving on to syst uh, system set uh, sheet size select this as uh, now it is a a4 so i'll just increase it a bit i'll make it a3 sheet so the region of interest is increased now to some extent uh, so more components you can lay, lay it now okay um so the next component which uh, i'll be picking is uh, uh, the capacitor and uh, also the crystal uh, device crystal oscillator so crystal pick quartz crystal okay uh, then uh, it's required for you to rotate this I'll rotate and uh, I'll connect make the connection to XTAL one XTAL two then again pick capacitors so this is uh, not mandatory even without this your system works um, but just for uh, uh, you know getting the 12 megahertz frequency we will be using this so here ceramic uh, uh, capacitors are picked so two I require 22 pico farad is actually the value connect to this terminals parallel it has to be connected and uh, uh, this one has to be shorted and it has to be grounded so next uh, pick the uh, battery single battery so type cell and uh, pick this component then lay it down here change uh, the battery voltage to 3.3 volt required for uh, your microcontroller operation or triggering your microcontroller then connect this battery unit of uh, your microcontroller to the bat of your 2318 then uh, ground and uh, again this terminal grounded so that's your connection at uh, time A so this is a basic uh, connection so I'll just maximize it for you uh, this is made okay after this uh, let's move on to the right hand side so we require a few more components uh, which is uh, this case 7 your shift register IC 74 HC 595 so pick this 8 bit shift register with the tri state output registers so I'll be uh, placing it over here uh, and uh, let me uh, tilt it down uh, so that uh, uh, easily I can interface it with 7 segment module so I'll just rotate it by an uh, um, anti-clockwise direction by 90 degree now I can lay the 7 segment uh, module over here and I can uh, uh, you know, design my application so this is second component required and the other component which I require over here is um, 7 segment Pick device seven 
segment you can type and uh, get uh, options seven segment common anode i'll pick any colored uh, led you can pick i'll select seven segment common anode green led okay and i'll uh, you know locate it over here again let me uh, put it at anti-clockwise direction so now this connection is set so what i'm supposed to do connect uh, according to the program so since I'm not having port 2, so I'll be using port 0. So what I'm supposed to do is P00 should be connected to shift. So this is uh, your shift clock and this is your latch clock and this is your data select probe. So connect uh, 19 to 11. Then uh, your data strobe is P P uh, one P zero one. Next connection is uh, your uh, 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 shift. This is for uh, data is done 14 pin number 14 and uh, 12. This is for uh, uh, latch. So you will be using P02 in uh, your uh, lab manual. It was P22 for two to second pin. So P02 is used here and uh, connection between your shift resistor and your seven segment module uh, q0 to a q1 to b uh, seven segments are shown a uh, dp switch is not shown here so i'll connect uh, you know the lines accordingly Q0 to Q6 so that's the connection okay uh, since I'm not using one more seven segment uh, then I don't require one more shift register so that's the connection uh, hope uh, this is okay uh, one thing what I need to do now is to enable this IC uh, OE and MR you have master select OE should be grounded which is done and MR should be connected to 3.3 volt voltage so MR is uh, fine OE is fine and this is okay now uh, this completes uh, one more thing is this uh, common anode so this should also be connected to VCC or 5 volt so I've done it so now let's see how this works uh, so this this makes um, the hardware design now moving back uh, hope it's it's okay I guess it's okay uh, completely fine now let's go to the program so here what I'll do is uh, same procedure file project new project and uh, give a name create a folder give a name single seven segment um, this folder create a project and uh, save it so select uh, NXP LPC 2148 microcontroller okay 
uh, then uh, file new project uh, project is created sorry uh, now next uh, is to create a file dot c file so what i'll do is i'm having a code which i'll paste and i'll just tell you the modification way which i've done it here so this code is for seven segment exactly same only one difference what uh, you can observe here is the header file is different and also we uh, since we are using only one digit you can just use uh, x is equal to zero x less than one that would do and uh, uh, other uh, differences uh, moving back uh, here the port is um, yeah this line i would dir0 have used uh, in your lab experiment it is lpc underscore gpio2 because port 2 you are using and the value is same here the value is same but uh, the port is different hence port 0 should be used here and uh, uh, here again so there uh, we had used lpc underscore gpio2 uh, fio set 0 and that's equal to io set 0 um, if you're using 2148 uh, microcontroller and uh, this was also addressed as LPC underscore GPIO2 FIO uh, CLR0 now this is uh, just IO CLR0 then IO set and IO CLR you know what is its equivalent in LPC 1768 so address it accordingly um, similarly IO set 0 and IO cleared 0 so no change with respect to the programming uh, semantics or syntaxes logic remains the same only the port is different and the way it will be used in uh, lpc 2148 is different than lpc uh, 1768 so after this you add this dot uh, c file i'll save as add this to the project so pgm segment dot c save it and uh, add it to this file add file so add the project add the file to this project now the last step is uh, uh, you know create a hex file for that go to uh, project options and uh, here uh, output uh, select create hex file and in the linker section use memory layout from target dialog so do this that's all mm, and uh, we will build and rebuild no problem now let's go to protest environment and here uh, we'll ch change the crystal frequency which is set to uh, 1 megahertz i'll set it to 12 megahertz now you okay now the program should run uh, select the file so uh, go to your uh, protis part of uh, protest code yes um, protest folder x file we don't have so part b so lpc seven segment single segment so this was actually the uh, x file which i'm supposed to select okay i'll run the program we'll see if things are working fine or okay you have a problem to deal what is that three point is uh, outside the range so in the schematic 3.3 volt battery supply is given that's okay we use this okay so this this p3 should also be connected i made a mistake small mistake uh, simulation stop simulation okay uh, it's okay now this connection v3 should also be connected to 3.3 volt now we will simulate now it's working 0 1 2 3 4 so it is a counter so 0 to f it should count so if you want uh, it to be interfaced with six more seven segments i'll show i will I'll demonstrate that similar uh, stuff what you need to do what are the changes this is a simple uh, um, structure wherein you are interfacing uh, one seven segment module with one shift register to your microcontroller
so 0 to F8 prints so let me uh, stop this uh, project let me save this moment so that's done 0 to F it will uh, display and uh, then it will go back to 0 it repeats the process so let me stop this now and I'll go to file open project so this one I'll be saving it and I'll be selecting the project which is already created now um, which is um, an arm arm uh, uh, this, uh, folder so single seven segment seven segment so this one I'll be using now seven segment modules uh, with all stuffs okay so this is actually your uh, lab schematic which was given so that has been implemented in Protis I'll run this code see how it works so first you have zero everywhere then it goes to one everywhere then two uh, at a moment you can uh, see that you know in one segment same same information is printed suppose if you want to make changes here like uh, one segment uh, should display one number second segment should display another number it is possible so that can also be done for that uh, what I'll do just do is I'll just uh, stop the simulation I'll go to the program which is a uh, seven segment program uh, in the keel environment I'll open one more project LPC uh, seven segment uh, let me open this project so here instead of uh, six displaying the information on all uh, seven segment let me display only in one segment so that uh, just observe the difference now what happens in this case if I dump this code there will be a difference so go back to protest this now uh, I'll select uh, LPC 7 segment so this is uh, created X file ok now this makes difference 0 and uh, that 0 is moved to the set 6 segment then also you can observe you know a modification like 0 to F it will print at the same time everywhere you get uh, 0 to F but in this is uh, displaying um, 1 this displays 0 okay so that uh, you have a rolling of information from one segment one segment to another segment this can also be done so just the program has been modified okay so in the same manner also you can also change the code as per as your requirement